So I'm pretty certain at this stage in the game, you've gotten your hands on Luke FZ's Frame Generation mod, whether you supported him on Patreon or got it via the leak. Um, and I just want to emphatically state, I'm not leaking the file. It has been leaked in mass by a whole bunch of gaming Discord servers. I'm merely going to be showing you in this video how to install it into various games. Before I do that, guys, what I will do is in the description of this video, I'll put the same link. You can follow this and if you can afford to, I highly recommend uh, donating or, or joining Luke's this, uh, uh, Patreon because the work he's doing really is breathing new life into all the cards. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to install it into seven different games. Uh, I'm going to provide a link to my, uh, to my Google Drive. It's going to be to this frame gen folder and then you're going to find seven different folders here. Um, it's got individual files for the games and then you can just place it into your gaming folder. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so this is The Last of Us with no frame generation. And I particularly choose this area because, as you can see, when you stay over here, you get low FPS and you look over there and you get much higher FPS. The Last of Us is funny like that. So just to show you my settings, uh, display, uh, we've got, uh, I only use sharpening of 25 because I find that when you do add uh, frame generation, sharpening is the one thing that can actually cause the game to crash. Um, and then yeah, obviously FSR 2 set to quality and then yeah, I like to set field of view to 10 so and, oh, and then also my actual graphic settings sorry uh, yeah, it's quite a lot to get through so this video is a little bit longer so I'm using I'm working off the very low preset because I find as long as you set your settings reasonably and you don't use too much sharpening the last of us is not going to crash so uh, i work off the very low preset then dynamic objects level detail set to medium character level set to medium everything else on low and then texture settings char character texture quality set on high and texture filtering set to time 16 and then um, under shadows i put quarter resolution on I put on image based lighting. Um, I put on screen space ambient occlusion. And then I switch off real time reflections. And then switch off motion blur. And then these these last settings I just set to the absolute lowest, except for lens flares, set to half resolution, effects density very low, volumetrics effects very, very low animation quality low and then ambient character density very low and air quality low so uh yeah that was quite a mouthful to get through but i just we saw the first bit of the video so as you can see uh we're struggling we're getting about 28 29 fps and then when you turn this way we're getting about 34 fps so this is with no frame generation what can we do with frame generation Right guys, so I've added frame generation into the game and whereas previously we were getting late 20s, 28 and 29, you can see in the same scene we're getting 46 at worst and at best we're getting in the 60s over here. But you can see uh, even the most difficult parts of The Last of Us, uh, now all of a sudden they just work a lot better. So I'm not going to uh, go in detail like I did earlier with the settings because obviously we're going to be stuck here forever. But um, it's pretty much the same settings I was using earlier. And then let's just go graphics just to show you. So you can see it's all the same settings I was using earlier. And we are getting a scene or frame per frame. We're getting a 40 FPS or 20 FPS higher in the same scene in any, at any given point in time so you can see the last of us frame gen is much needed for gtx 1650. Um, there is a bit of a ui glitch but um, this is an early uh, fsr3 mod so that's to be expected 
not too bad on screen. It's just uh, where it shows you that you are the gun and um, the, your ammo and stuff. It's a little bit sucky. But anyways, guys, I'm going to show you how to install it now. Right, guys, in the description of the video, there will be a link to my Google Drive. Just up or, well, to the frame gen folder. Go to The Last of Us. I must apologize. I've been, uh, this is my fifth video I've made today. I've been answering comments. So earlier, I actually did put the wrong files in The Last of Us. So many apologies. I have updated the files in The Last of Us twice now. And it really should be working now. So what you can do is just download these files. Once you've downloaded them, um, uh, you just go open up The Last of Us, copy those files that you downloaded, and then in your game folder, wherever it's on your hard drive, just go ahead and place it in your game folder. So I did, did just record a, a video showing with FrameGen, so I already had the files in there. So once you've copied all those files in, now you're going to want to hit your Last of Us executable. And as you do that, it's going to cause all these little scripts and nooks to, um, to appear. That's a sure sign that the mod is working. And that is how you add frame generation or FSR3 frame generation into The Last of Us. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Five videos in today. I'm not going to do another one. So for the last time, Merry Christmas. Have a good one. Thank mm -hmm. you.